Well, what we want to cover today is some ways in which it is possible to break into an Oracle database, which is what we call SQL injection, followed, of course, by techniques one should follow to prevent such injections. So we need to talk about what a SQL injection actually is. Now, the SQL injections we're going to demonstrate will all be based on dynamic SQL. So I need to make sure that we're all aware of how dynamic SQL works, what it's for. Once you've been through that, I'll demonstrate this as well, of course. Then we'll get to the meat of the webinar. Some techniques for breaking into a database. Obviously, I'm not teaching anyone to hack. That will be somewhat irresponsible. But I'll demonstrate three simple ways of breaking in. Using Oracle terminology, they call them first order, second order, and third order. Third order is sometimes called a lateral attack. The first order attack, it's some guy somewhere on the internet. You know, you've got a web application that's exposed, internet facing application, that the back end is an Oracle database. And there's some guy somewhere trying to break in. And we'll see that for badly written code, that may be easier than you think. Then there's what Oracle describes as the second order attack. That's in some ways more dangerous. That's typically involving your own staff, perhaps, who are doing some privilege escalation, maybe setting a time bomb for breaking in later on. The third order or lateral attack, you go sideways. That in some ways is the most frightening. You're exploiting known weaknesses in badly written code, which could occur pretty much anywhere. So we'll go through three techniques or a demonstration of each, and then we'll see how to block them. <laughs> 